Hi there VC, Steve Whitty here. It's Sunday. Um, two videos in two days. Um, also, it's another video that's a response to Richard McCook Fred. Um, Richard is celebrating two years on the VC. And he started this rather specific thread. Um, he wants to show... To show um, 12 are acts that you don't normally show on the VC, we, we don't show often, and show two consecutive albums by them. So it's really sort of about digging into your collection a little bit. So I thought I'd give it a go. I haven't really watched anybody else's threads on this because I didn't want anyone, uh, didn't, I didn't want anyone to pinch someone. I just wanted to go for blind with myself. So first up, I've got Cheap Trick, and you're going to have to forgive the glare a little bit. Um, that's their second album, In Colour, which was followed by Heaven Tonight, their third album. Of the two albums, I think this is the better album. Got the stronger songs on here. Surrender, uh, their version of the moves, California Man, Rick Nielsen, Big Roy Wood fan, um, Alvida Zane, um, Taking You Back. Just really great, great song. Great, great song, great album. Um, so I'm surprised I don't really show this slot. ZZ Top, Eliminator, which came out in 83. This was their big international, big break, big break through in the UK. Really on the, they were one of the first bands to, um, first American bands to take, take advantage of the video. They could see what was going on. They always had their finger on the pulse, what was going on elsewhere. So on here, obviously, uh, give me all your loving shop dress man legs TV dinners all hit singles in the UK They followed it up in 1985 with afterburner um, So you got on here sleeping bag rough boy um, Velcro fly on Eliminator It was all about the car the hot rod that was featured in all the videos in the afterburner, it morphed into a spaceship. Next, Gillan, Glory Road, the third album released in 1980. The first sort of like major label album. Bit of a break, again, my breakthrough um, on here. With It's got sort of, a, I feel, the classic lineup of Ian Gillan, John McCoy, Bernie Torme. Um, Colin Towns and Mick Underwood on here, Unchain Your Brain, um, No Easy Way, On The Rocks, um, If You Believe Me, and Stonking, Stonking, really good album, really good album. They were really busy, Gillen. Um, in 19, I think less than six months later, they issued this, Future Shock, which I think got to number two in the, um, in the UK album charts. Um, also, the best known tracks on here that No Laughing in Heaven, which in the bridge, a shortened version, became a hit single. Um, New Orleans, which was another hit single, used to end the show with, and usually John McCoy, that's him there. Um, Smash the Bass. Um, also, you got some st sort of standards like Bite the Bullet as well. Um, that's on here, so re really. Another good good album. They were on the roll, I think, around 81. Gillen might have been my favourite band. I know I saw them on when they did... They issued Double Trouble within six months, which was a half-studio, half-live album. I saw them on that tour. Next. Ten years after. This is the Stonehenge album. Released in 1969. And then they followed it up. Again in 1969 with shh. Um, yeah, ten ten years after. Um, don't I don't see a lot of love for the band on on the VC, but you know they played Woodstock, and went down really well. They were really popular in the states. Um, Alvin Lee's one of the great guitar. Great, great, he's almost forgotten in the pantheon of great guitarists. I feel um, maybe it's time to sort of have a. 
have a look into into their influence. I think there's a version of the band is still going, even though Alvin Lee's no longer with us. Next. I don't show enough not the status quo. This is Mark Kelly's uh, Greasy Spoon, which I believe is the third album. This is really when they started to move away from the psychedelic more into the into the, into the um sort of like the the rock, the rock boogie whatever you call it phase um so that's that and then they followed it up with dog of two heads um and mean girl which was a hit single for them that's on, on here um yeah I mean, they were such so desperate to get away from their um, so the pop image. Uh, Francis Rossi was calling himself Mike on the album. Rick Parford, it was Richie Parford. Don't know if you can see that there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's a lot, but good albums. You know, it's good to see how a band sort of uh, evolves. You know, you listen to Roadhouse Blues by the Doors, and suddenly your um, your um, your career goes in a different direction. So changing tax, Eurasia. This is their Wonderland album, their debut. Um, Vince Clark and Andy Bell. Um, uh, it's got the single on here is Who Needs Love Like That. It didn't chart very well, but it did put their name out there. Um, also on here is All More, which um, the pop duo Dollar took to it as a hit. They followed it up with the circus with circus and this has got their big breakthrough single on here um i think it's sometimes is it sometimes yeah is the big breakthrough which was number two in the uk charts um it doesn't have to be on here victim of love um and the title track were all hit singles in the uk another band i don't really show a lot of the Icicle Works band from Liverpool. Um, this came out in nineteen. Their debut album, Icicle Works, came out nineteen eighty three or eighty four. This contains the big. Their big hit was on here. Love is a wonderful colour. Um, wonderful sort of like jangly pop, uh, power pop um, music at that time. It really is a good album. I really come back, come into them late. Um, they followed the, this album up with the small price of a bicycle, which came out. I'm just see where it came out. Came out in 1985. Um, again, I think a really good album. Really good album. Wonderful album. Um, yeah, it's. And so I say, I, I actually enjoyed them. I've got, I've got another one of their albums. Uh, uh, it's a band that I don't really play enough of. Again, a band that don't get seem to get a lot of love in the um, in, in the VC. Moving on, something again totally different. The Tigers of Pantang, Crazy Night. Um, I believe this may have been their um, second or third album. Came out. 1981. I won't open it up because the cover's in quite a bit of a state. Um, from Newcastle. Um, I think this is the first album that featured John Deverell vocals. John Sykes played guitar with this lot. Um, he's on this album. Um, he'd, um, he would obviously go on to find b b bigger things with Thin Lizzy, White Snake. He'd left the band at that point, and Fred Purser, Ex of Penetration came in and they released the cage and the cage probably had probably what would be described as the nearest they had to hit singles um, um love potion number nine was it was played a lot on the radio in the uk at the time um rendezvous was another great song it really was really I'm sure produced by peter collins um and paris by air and you know this really was I mean, you thought the band was going to um really take off and it just never happened for them they're still going there's still a version of, of the tigers of pantang just floating around santana i don't seem to show a lot of santana i've got a lot of their albums abraxas classic album 
um, you know, black magic woman, Gypsy Queen, Oi, come, come on bar. Um, just a great, great album. And then we followed it up with the third album. Um, again, great, just a great album, just great, great guitar, great, great group musicianship. There's the band there. Some would say sort of like the classic lineup. Greg Roll um, is on there. Neil Sean's on there. Um, Michael Shreve. It's just really is a great. Just those the early Santana albums are just really magnificent. So magnificent. It's just great music. The band Mahogany Rush. Um, I got the two albums they just happened to be the two next releases uh, I brought these um, really on the recommendation of um, Pete the, at the record shop said this is great stuff and it is actually um, played this album not too long back actually uh, a couple of weeks ago um, yeah realised I hadn't shown it Frank Mourinho is the obviously the main stage guitarist apparently I believe I'm not sure is this true he um had a bad acid trist and he woke up and he convinced he was sort of like could play guitar like Hendrix. Four was followed up by World Anthem. Band. Then moving on slightly different, uh, Aztec Camo. This is the second album, Knife, which is produced by Mark Knopfler. Sort of didn't do as well as their debut album. Um, I think, I think if I remember rightly, I think Roddy Frame was might have been slightly in awe of Knopfler. Um, however, they did follow up uh, with Love, which has got the big hit single for them, Somewhere in My Heart. This came out in 1987. And then finally, it doesn't have to be about music. Comedy. Jasper Carrot, um, Rabbits On and On. And on the, I think it's his second album. We did do an in, independent album. This is released on DJM in the seventies. There were a lot of um, comedians uh, with folk music um, backgrounds. Jasper Carrot being one of them. Billy Connolly for Scotland. Max Boyce Wales. You also got Mike Hardin as well from North of England. Um, that um, did the circuit, and they were releasing albums which charted. This is one of them um, on here. Recorded in Roebuck in Erdington, which is about a couple of hundred yards away from where Mothers used to be. And the um, Fleck Hampstead in Coventry. It's probably best known tr track on here is his take up of Magic Roundabout, which was the B-side of his hit single, Funky Moped. Anyway, that's Rabbits On and On. He followed it up with Carrots in Knots, which, uh, as it says, recording in Nottingham. There you go. A lot of it probably doesn't, <laughs> doesn't. A lot of it's been recorded in the seventies. Doesn't really stand up now. Well, there you go. Those are my twelve artists. Um, I hope you like my choices. Um, so well done, Richard, on reaching two two years. It's great knowing you actually. And he's a very a good member of, of the UK VC. Um, I know he's doing a lot because there's a lockdown. There's a lot of videos flying around, and it's <laughs> it's hard work keeping up. Um, but hey ho, it's 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 there. It's a bit of fun. That's what we what we need at this moment. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. I'm getting an increase in, in in subscribers, so I do thank you for really do appreciate you know you take your time up, watch the videos, and click on the subscribe button. If um, thumbs up, thumbs down, love the interaction. Feel free to leave a comment. I will get back to you. Now I'm gonna. I think this sun, the dawn is breaking and I think it's going to snow today but I think I'll go for a walk just before if it does snow um, so whatever you get up to today VC make sure you have a good one take care of yourselves, keep spinning more importantly keep smiling <laughs>